hi uh, a very warm welcome to sibish passion here uh, we are going to discuss a few points which you must be taken care of to be a successful software engineer we are software engineers we do create softwares but are we the only people who works for it absolutely no am i right there are few pretty good cycles or steps to be followed here we are not going to discuss about that there is a saying when you do your duty well no need to worry about the other things so let us see what are all the things we need to keep in mind to make our product or software to be successful in that way we can also be a successful software engineer i hope you will like this so my question is are you a software engineer if your answer is yes are you a successful software engineer got confused no need to worry about that i'll be discussing the points you need to take in care of to be a successful software engineer last year i attended india's most awaited conference at delhi it's the shop corner annual conference here i'm going to explain the key points which i have noted down from the session how to be a successful software engineer of mr glen block he really motivated all the attendees like me mr glen block is an ex microsoft employee who has worked for microsoft almost 10 years so uh how to be a successful software engineer i found all the points said by mr glen block are very meaningful and it must be followed by each of us so the first key point is don't be afraid to fail we all are developers or programmers we do mistakes right all the human do that it doesn't matter that you create your software without any fault or fail if you say so you may need to make sure that your software is working or not <laughs> right there is a saying don't be afraid of failure it has been said by mr albert einstein we all know who he was right so don't be afraid to fail your failure is your best teacher you ever have we can all do mistakes which will make us fail but most important thing is learn from your failure or mistakes if you do that your next try will be successful and i am pretty much sure about that if you have never failed you haven't tried anything new so no need to worry about your fail keep doing your good work and you will be definitely reach the success so the next point is don't be afraid to ask for help we are all working in an environment where we all do mistakes and fail you should never be afraid of asking help to others this can reduce your work pressure and guess what you can deliver your product on time that's what your manager needs from you right exactly sometimes your junior can also lead lead you to the right path so never be afraid to ask for help just let your ego flew away you can see in the image ego is equal to 1 by knowledge ego is inversely propor proportional to knowledge more the knowledge lesser the ego lesser the knowledge more the ego again the great man albert einstein So our next point is be a continuous learner. We live in a life where something new is arising in each seconds. It is same for our IT interest industries too. Every day there is something new to learn. At the end of the day, what you have learned is most important. So uh, you should give a try to all the technologies which is being developed. 
related to your designation at the same time it is important that you must be a master for few of them so keep calm because now you are going to be a master right you will definitely so you might have got confused in my previous key point here is your solution you can't learn it all definitely you cannot learn all the technologies which is being introduced to the industries when i said to be a continuous learner it is limited you just need to give a try in the technologies which you think it may help in your programming life at the same time as i said in the above point you must get mastered in a few th of them too that's more important guys so try to concentrate on the technology whichever you feel comfortable and you feel it will be added advantages to to your career the next important point is value your code we write codes right when i say value your codes it is all related how you do your code exactly whenever you do any code just make sure that it does the things it is supposed to be in a clear and easy manner it was glad hearing my from my friend mr dhananjay kumar saying mr glen block writes coding in a way a poet writes poem actually we must follow that we should love what exactly we are doing in that way we can definitely write better code it is much important that your code should be maintainable or else the one who maintain your code after few days or months or years will have to struggle a lot you can understand this imp the importance of this point if you ever performed a role of a maintenance guy trust me guys that's a worst thing to do it's it will not be very it will never be easy to maintain a code someone else have written so whenever you write a code make sure that it's it's pretty much easy and and in a good manner always code as if the guy who ends up maintaining your code will be a violent sky, psychopath who knows where you live that's a nice thought right <laughs> find a mint so the next key point is find a mentor and be a mentor we all uh, uh, will have a teacher in our life who gave us knowledge who help us to understand the things right it is more important that you must find your mentor who narrate you to right direction learn from your mentor because a mentor can teach you so many things which he or she got from his life experience makes a man perfect right so they they have already got that experience so they will be very glad to share those experience with you so i strongly suggest you to go and find a mentor for you once you learn be a mentor for someone to whom you can share the knowledge you get from your mentor while being a mentor please make sure that you are directing your followers in a right direction share keep learning keep sharing keep teaching and again keep sharing and i I'm, i'm saying this you will definitely find your growth the seventh point is don't be a jerk there are quite a few around us it's not required all of them to be good sometimes you may end up in a situations to work with the people who speaks everything negative have you ever worked in such environment if you worked with those kind of people you know how they talk whatever you give you give a suggestion they will definitely they will not definitely agree with that and they will uh, blabber something and they will give you some other ideas and they will always speak negative in this situations what is most important is you be an optimist that's more than the good thing that you can do 
eighth point is don't overcome it we all have deadlines every project will be having some deadlines and sometimes we all keep that but there is a limit what you can do in a time frame try to understand that when you accept a requirement sheet try to understand the effort needs to be done and how much time you may need to work for the same if it doesn't match the time frame given by your manager or client please feel free to inform the same to your reporting person it is very important that we give a product which works as they expect instead giving it full of bugs so guys will never overcome it if you do that always get ready to search for an another job you may get fired never say yes when you want to say no if you want to say no in a situation you must definitely say no you should be having that courage the right idea doesn't have to be your idea do i really need to explain it we all work we all have brain we all have ideas sometimes your junior can teach you a lot sometimes he will fix the problems more fast than you just admit it and agree the solution given by them their idea will make the project delivery on time that matters so let go your ego be a good listener being a good listener you can see the things in other perspective that's more important guys you can understand the things which he or she understood entire way this will enrich your capability and reputation if they are wrong you can say them that they are wrong and that is and what exactly is to be followed you can narrate them and you can mentor and you can give some suggestion but always try to listen what others are saying testing testing and testing you all uh, know how important is testing in our software programming testing is one of the important role in any software development cycle right never release your product without proper testing because testing is a phase you get the bugs which our clients or managers never like if you think you are done with testing i strongly recommend you to do it once more patterns always try to follow the most relevant pattern which suits suits to your project a pattern can make you fail at the end of your life cycle i mean your project life cycle if you have selected it wrong so uh, please make sure that you have selected appropriate patterns uh this is one of the most important point guys uh be a part of the community you have uh, learned a lot of things but from where you learned these things only from books no you might have gone through some articles or some website or some any other community or any other stuffs you have learned it right now it is the time to give back to the community you need to be a part of the communities because these are made for us there are so many communities available few of them are uh, sishab corner yamsdn asp.net stack overflow code project in this way you can make yourself visible in online world share your knowledge to all and gain knowledge from all sources possible underline these words share your knowledge you must definitely do that now contribute to oss it's open sources if you get a chance to contribute to any open source project never miss that chance or, or opportunity go ahead and do that this will make your reputation much higher 
because open source project is being used by millions of users trust me open source project all of the open source projects are used by billions of users so if your name is included in that project you, you are a star man you have become a celebrity so never miss that chance now uh, thank you so much for watching uh, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, if it is possible please do share it too i hope you like this video uh, thank you so much for watching once again have a great day